If I had seen Joshua's profile photo and then went and read his bio, I would have been gone quicker than a Canadian <laughs> turkey in October. <laughs> We're back at home. We were traveling in Europe for three weeks and posted a few different travel vlogs. We visited a bunch of different countries. Mm -hmm. We did lots of stuff. So please go check out those videos if you haven't. But now we're happy to be home and to get back to our normal sit down format where we can go over our relationship topics that we like to talk about and just get deep with you guys. Did you know that there are approximately 440 million people actively using dating apps right now. While dating apps may offer the users a convenient way to meet a wide variety of people, some Christians may question whether or not joining a dating app is something that aligns with their faith and morals. After talking to some of our single Christian friends, we have found some three key reasons why Christians may question whether or not joining a dating app is in line with their faith and morals. Side note, Try to remember these points because we will be coming back to them all throughout the video. Number one, dating apps are usually used as a way to find a casual or sexual relationship. And this is something that Christians are not looking for, which means that a lot of Christians fear that once they join a dating app, they're not going to find anyone who shares their same values and that their intentions may be misunderstood. Number two, Christians may fear that they're forcing a relationship that wasn't in God's plan. And number three, Christians often feel convicted about the fact that dating apps cause you to swipe left and right on people based on whether or not you're attracted to their outward appearance. As you can see by the corresponding scriptures, these fears and skepticisms about online dating are actually rooted in the word. However, the question that this video aims to answer and the question that a lot of Christians have is, is there a way for Christians to use online dating in a way that doesn't glorify the world's view of premarital sex, doesn't interfere with God's plan for their life, and doesn't cause them to judge people solely based on their outward appearance? Perhaps the best way for us to answer this question is to share a little bit of our story with you. For those of you who have never visited our channel before, hi, welcome. My name is Alicia. And my name is Josh. <laughs> And we met on a Christian dating app in 2019. Keyword being Christian dating app. A lot of Christians get discouraged within the first hour of joining a secular dating app because they're seeing all these profile pictures being taken in bars. They see revealing mirror selfies being taken. They, When they go to read the description of the people's bios, they see things like here for a good time, not a long time, or let's see where this thing goes, which Christians who are taking the step to join an online dating platform are looking for marriage, they're serious about finding someone for the long run, and they're not looking for a casual relationship. By joining a Christian dating app instead of a secular dating app, you're basically immediately eliminating that concern that Christians have about whether or not their intentions are going to be misunderstood and that people are going to think that they're only on the dating app to find a casual hookup. By using a Christian dating app, you already know that you're going to be meeting other Christian individuals that have the same principles and values as you do. Now, obviously, different Christians belong to different denominations and have slightly different interpretations of the Bible. And we're not saying that every single Christian you meet on these online dating apps are going to agree 100% with you or are going to be equally yoked with you. However, your chances of finding someone who is equally yoked with you and is part of your denomination, shares your same interpretations of the word, is significantly higher than it would be on apps like Tinder or Bumble. Definitely. Or grinder. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's also important to note that a lot of Christian dating apps have fewer individuals on them than the more secular ones. And Christian dating apps seem to compensate for this by introducing you to Christians from all over the world rather than individuals just in your area. Although a long distance relationship is not the easiest thing to go through, it did really help us resist the urges of sexual sin. At the end of this video, we'll recommend a couple of Christian dating apps to you that we find to be really good at what they do. So make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video for that part. The second reason that we mentioned that a lot of Christians don't want to join dating apps is they don't want to start a relationship that isn't in God's plan for them. 
They fear that by joining a dating app, even if it is a Christian one, that they are taking their future into their own hands rather than trusting God and trying to force something that he did not bring directly to them. Proverbs 13 verse 4 says, The idle one craves and yet gets nothing, but the desires of the diligent are fully satisfied. So there's a common joke among Christians about a man who's trapped on a house. So it goes like this. There's a man trapped on a house during a flood and a boat shows up to rescue him. And they say to him, hop on. We're here to save you. Let's go. And he says to them, no, I'm waiting for God. And so they say, okay, whatever. See you later. And another boat comes by and says, hey, hop on. Let's go. We're here to save you. And he says, no, I'm waiting for God to come and save me. Finally, a helicopter shows up, the flood waters have risen, he's almost going to get swept away, and they come down and they're like, hey, hop on, this is your last chance, let's go. And he says, yet again, no, I'm waiting for God to come save me. And then he drowns. <laughs> bye bye. He doesn't make it, he drowns. He gets to heaven and he says to God, why didn't you save me? And God says to him, uh, I sent two boats and a helicopter. <laughs> so basically the moral of the story is God helps those who help themselves like you have to actually put in the effort you can't just lock yourself in a room and pray and pray and pray that God will just send a spouse to kick in the door and say let's go let's get married I am the one that... I'm the one he sent me let's go you have to trust that God will lead you to the right spouse the third and final reason why Christians may feel reluctant to join even a Christian dating app is because they feel convicted about swiping right or left on a person based solely on their outward appearance. Personally, we feel that this conviction is totally valid. In 1 Samuel 16 verse 7, it reads, But the Lord said to Samuel, Don't judge by his outward appearance or height, for I have rejected him. For the Lord doesn't make decisions the way you do. Man judges by the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. The best way to protect yourself from falling into the trap of rejecting good individuals is to scroll through their whole profile and read their entire bio and then base your decision on that. When I first saw Josh's profile, obviously I thought, wow, this man is gorgeous. But I didn't swipe right on him just from seeing his face. I read his bio first. When I read his bio, I learned that he loves music, he loves to worship, he loves the outdoors, and that he was serious about finding a wife. And only then I swiped right on him and made the first move and messaged you. <laughs> yeah, I did. If I had seen Joshua's profile photo and then went and read his bio, it wouldn't matter how handsome I thought he was if his bio said something like, Hey, sexy lady, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Yeah, no. Yeah. Immediately, immediately no. I would have been gone quicker than a Canadian <laughs> turkey in October. <laughs> So we'd like to recommend to you guys and you girls a few different Christian dating apps that'll be great for you. The first Christian dating site that we'd like to recommend is called Christian Filipina. It is a Christian dating app that is based in the Philippines, but it welcomes members from all over the world. They're one of the only Christian dating apps that has 24 seven assistance. They also have advanced algorithms that track things like what denomination people are in, what their Christian principles are, and what their church involvement is like that they use to help match you with the perfect individual for you. Their members are predominantly Filipino women, so it's a great app for the men, but for the ladies, we do have some other recommendations for you. There are plenty of amazing Christian dating apps out there like a Christian Mingle, Cross Paths, Christian Connection. We personally met on Cross Paths um, and that was a really great dating app for us. I think it's down at the moment, but they're working to get it back up. But we also obviously recommend that app because that's the one that we met on. The moral of the story is that Christians can use dating apps. Just be intentional about which ones you use and how you use it. We hope that this video gave you some clarity on the topic of Christians using dating apps. And as always, God bless you and we will see you in next week's video. Make sure to like if this video was helpful for you. And if you haven't already, please, please subscribe. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Wait, here's another one. It always comes in twos. <gasps> I said squip twos. <laughs>
<laughs> corresponding <laughs> squip shots. Yeah. That's how Franklin speaks in my head. Yeah. As you can see by the corresponding scriptures. <laughs> <laughs> oh no yeah we started okay. Actually, if we just left that in there <laughs> as like you can see I by actually, the corresponding well, <laughs> yeah 